It's time once again for the Kennet Indian Coaches Show as we visit with Kennet Indian head basketball coach, Noel Billings. And Coach, uh, we talked about the uh, the busy stretch of games. I know you had a JV tournament and a lot of your varsity guys playing JV uh, as well. Uh, having to go to Notre Dame, we talked about how tough an environment that is, a ball game that you you had a chance to, to get that thing. And... Uh, then a tough road trip to Twin Rivers, another hard place to play, and you get a, a one-point victory at Twin Rivers. So uh, I'm adding them to the list of places that I'm going to try to not return to. Twin Rivers was a very tough environment, very tough on our boys, and uh, got the win. Scrapped it out, man. You got to get hats off to the guys, man. They figured out a way to come out with a W. Well, they did, and uh, you know your, your team uh, came over, uh, overcame a lot of adversity in that ball game. That's a great in, way to in, put it. In, in in a lot of ways. And, yes, sir. Uh, and I, I know, uh, you know the players fought all the way to the end, and they had to. But Twin Rivers, a scrappy team, and they got some yeah. uh, pretty talented ball players. But your guys uh, in your defense and the styles in that ball game were just like total opposites uh, for both teams. Twin Rivers has a really really good coach so they're going to be better than what they would be if he wasn't there year in year out you know so if they have anything talent wise at all usually they get a lot out of them we knew that going in they were going to have a game plan um heck um, coach McBroom was sitting behind our bench at uh the Notre Dame game fortunately for us we were uh, we looked a lot different when we uh came to Twin Rivers so it's kind of like scouting a completely different team but um Everybody, once again, that stepped on the court, played their butts off, played until they couldn't play anymore, contributed um, top to bottom, um, had some guys make some huge plays down the stretch. Um, everything from Zacharyon chasing down that, that kid. I mean, the kid was, what was he, 30 feet ahead of him, and he catches up, makes a play at the ball, doesn't and, let and him get the bucket. Save the ball game. Really. Save the ball game, because then, then we go down and we make a free throw. That, that kid only makes one or two. We come down and take the lead and, uh, you know, getting that last loose ball or that long pass, you know, those kids were getting getting grabbed and pushed and pulled. And we just – we felt like uh, their kids were getting away with some pushing and shoving and our kids never mouthed off to the refs, never threw their hands up. Real proud of that. They, they behaved better than Coach Billings did. <laughs> Well, and, and probably the broadcasters too. So I'll throw myself into that. Pile. Sometimes I just, you know, you feel like you got the kids got to know I'm fighting for them. And if I feel like they're not getting a fair shake, they got to know I'm fighting for them so they don't have to say something to the ref. They don't have to throw their hands up. They feel like that I have their back and that I'm going to speak up on their behalf. And I felt like it was bad enough to get a technical. I, it was almost bad enough to get thrown out of that place, man. But I didn't want to leave them in that pit by themselves. So uh, I had to sit down and shut up. But they, they, they responded. Well, on last week's coaches show, we talked about uh, this team learning and growing. And, uh, you know, last night was a chance with the lead trying to hang on to that lead and get the victory. And it's another experience that they may be able to take into the district tournament where the season continues. Absolutely, we got better. Um, we got better. We were a better team come Monday than we were on Friday. We were a better team Tuesday when we walked in the gym. We were a better team when we left. How about the JV game? Those guys played their butts off. Ty hitting a three to go into overtime. They went to double overtime. They went to triple overtime. You know, you had freshmen playing that really hadn't played in those kind of circumstances ever. And uh, Corday took a huge charge stepping up, takes a charge to save, the, you know, to give them a chance to stay in the game and push it to another overtime. And we didn't get back till what, 11? Oh, it was late, late night. It was, it was a late night. Yeah, we had <laughs> uh, thank you to the, to the ladies taking care of the food for the boys, got us some food up here. But we got better for sure. And I'm glad because we got Sykeson coming in Friday. Yeah, Sykeson's coming up Friday, and uh, we're visiting with Coach Noel Billings here on the Kennedy Indian Coaches Show. Coach, let's take a break. Uh, we have a couple of uh, player guests, I believe, today. And, yes, sir. Uh, we're going to visit with uh, some of the players on the ball club. And then we'll be back and talk about uh, that Friday matchup with Sykeson when yes, the sir. Kennedy Coaches Show continues right after this. And on our player guest segment, we have uh, Chris Jefferson. Chris, a junior. I think this mm -hmm. is the first time we've been able to talk to Chris, so good to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me. Chris, I, I've seen you playing out there on the floor uh, for several years, I know, as a JV player, and then you're moving up to the varsity ranks. But uh, 
you know, what I noticed about you is you love the game. That, that's really mm-hmm. clear. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love the game. I've been playing it ever since I was eight years old. I love playing tell, tell us, you know, sometimes when I talk to players, I want to go back to those early coaches. And I know mm-hmm. uh, right now I know some very young players that are just coming up. Who mm-hmm. were some of your early coaches that really gave you the, uh, the, the, the love for the game of basketball? Uh, definitely Coach Patton for sure. He's assistant uh, coach. He was like one of my first coaches. We played um, Kiwanis and um, Coach Garmin. For sure. You bet. He me. You bet. Yeah. And our, our, our next player guest about to come in right mm-hmm. now is uh, uh, Chris Jefferson visiting with us right now. As uh, Of course, we record this on, on Wednesday, so sometimes we say uh, playing Saxton tonight, but uh, you have been uh, – you have been one of the guys that's been battling for years and years and uh, against Twin Rivers, a tough road game. What I noticed about you last night, Chris, and I really hadn't seen it a lot, but you did a great job handling the basketball and kind of being the point guard on this team. Mm-hmm, yeah, uh, playmaking is probably, I would say, my best um, attribute. And I just like making plays and finding the right people, so. Yeah. Well, it, it's a key thing, and especially uh, that point guard, because if you're not able to handle things, uh, nothing else happens offensively. Uh, I, I'm really impressed at the way that you see the floor. And I know over the years, uh, the passes that you've made to open teammates have just been incredible. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to get better on that. You know, I had some turnovers, but those are going to get better. Well, it, you're in your junior season. You're going to have one more year of Kennedy Indian basketball. And I know that, uh, you know, you guys start off and things uh, evolve and change as the season goes on. You get some good wins. You have some heartbreaking losses during the season. But uh, what's, what's your goal for this basketball team uh, this season? Uh, my goal is to get, like, a lot better from here to districts and make a push for districts. I think we can definitely do it. Well, that's it. Chris Jefferson, good to have you with us. Since you're a junior, we're not going to talk about your future plans right now. We'll wait until you're a senior for that. Uh, I hope your future plans is to get a big victory over Sykeston tonight. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be good. Chris, good to have you with us. Chris Jefferson, our first uh, player guest. We'll have another coming up as Ashton Dismukes, freshman, coming up next on the Kennett Indian Coaches Show. Back with the Kennett Indian Coaches Show and another guest, a freshman. I don't know if we ever had a freshman on the Kennett Indian Coaches Show. Ashton Dismukes, our guest. And uh, Ashton, we see you out on the floor and we see what you do. Uh, you're listed as a, a six foot freshman, but uh, you got into the ball game last night and you were taking it to the rack against <laughs> some guys six four and six five. You're able to play outside. You're play, able to play inside. And uh, where, where did you learn that that versatility uh, with your game? Um, for real, for real, I really didn't even start shooting the basketball until like maybe this this summer. I didn't really shoot it for real. Driving, I always had that driving mentality in me for real, for real. That's just like, I just, you know, feel like I can finish on anybody, <laughs> you know, just that confidence level right there. Well, we talked a little bit uh, with uh, with Chris on the, on the <coughs> other segment of the coaches show and uh who were some of your early coaches that kind of got your love for the basketball game? Because I can tell that uh, that you live to play basketball. Uh, really? Uh, so me started playing basketball was in third grade when our principal, he used to always get us out of class to play basketball. And I used to love getting out of class. <laughs> but I didn't really start taking it like seriously up until like fifth grade when I started playing travel basketball with uh, – Coach Patton and uh, Coach Fred Gorman, yeah. Hey, both of those names come up often when we talk about uh, guys that have helped Kennett basketball players and uh, Coach Patton over on the bench and volunteers his time and been a part of the team forever. And uh, We interviewed Coach Garman and uh, all of his accomplishments. So both of, both of those gentlemen I know very important. Let's talk a little bit about you as a freshman uh, mm-hmm. coming into a SEMO conference team. Not very many freshmen get out on the floor and see a lot of playing time. But uh, you step into that role, and I don't see any sign of nerves when you get out on the floor. No, I just feel like there's really no need to be nervous. When you got that confidence level, you just feel like you're the best player on the court. 
Like, no matter what anyone says, you just got to do what you got to do. A, a great way to be. And Ashton, good luck. I know we're going to talk again in, uh, in, uh, in further episodes of the Kennedy Indian Coaches Show as your uh, career develops. But uh, it, it just uh, – I didn't really get into, in, into Chris with this because he's a junior. Wh where's your ultimate goal? When you get out of high school, what are you wanting to do? Um, when I get out of high school, I want to take my basketball talents to the next level. And um, my dream college to play for is Mizzou. Mizzou? Mm -hmm. Want to be a Mizzou Tiger. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a good goal to have. Keep working hard. You guys go get, uh, get Saxton here on your home floor. Yes, sir. Ashton Dismukes, our player guest, will be back with Coach Noel Billings as we wrap up this week's edition of the Kennedy Indian Coaches Show right after this. Back with Kennedy Indian head basketball coach Noel Billings and coach the uh, the uh, the big stretch continues, but uh, it, you're you're moving toward district tournament time. You got a, a big Simo Conference matchup uh, against Saxton here on your home floor, and if you're going to play Saxton, I know you'd much rather have them on your home floor. And, yes, uh, I know this is an opportunity that you'd love to get that Simo Conference victory over a good opponent. Yeah, don't beat Saxton too often. I mean, just in general, you don't get a lot of W's over Saxton. They have a great program. They have a Hall of Fame coach. They have a lot of banners in the rafters. Um, that being said, they're coming in here and we're going to treat it like everybody else. We're going to come at them. We're going to swing hard, try to swing first. They like to probably more so than anybody we play. They will push the pace and they're, they're going to, if we come down and get a quick shot, they're coming right back and they'll take a quick shot. And their kids have been doing that for years and years and years. And ever since Coach Hollowfield, has been there, and uh, <clears throat> they're going to be a little bit more seasoned in that manner. But we know what we're trying to get done here, and we know the goal, and we know the uh, the time it's going to take to do it. And we feel like we're, we're getting a, a lot closer to that every time we go out. So this is going to be no different. Um, we're going to try to win the game, absolutely. But, you know, the bigger goal is still in the forefront. Yeah, it, it, and, and we look at the schedule and, you know, if you look at the SEMO conference matchups you have Ooh. remaining and you have, of course, Cape Central who's – Have they – they haven't even lost yet. Haven't even lost this season. And they're and, playing some bigs. They're playing Hazelwood. The big the one time Hazelwood was the biggest school in Missouri, mm -hmm. and they beat them the other night. They're good. Then you have so, to go to Poplar Bluff, which is never an easy place to play as well. And then a couple of smaller schools that I've seen <clears> this season, <throat> but Cooter – has a very good squad. They won They've the lost Christmas one. tournament. Yeah. I think they lost one. And, and, and beat Greenville, who was undefeated. Another opponent, you have yeah. to go on the road to Greenville, and that's uh, – I, it was years ago I was there, but that's also not an easy place to play. And then going to Donovan on top of that. Right, right. <laughs> I'll say this. The one team I really want to win, I want to beat Greenville. Um, they beat us like a drum in the summer. They beat us like a drum the summer before. We saw them in a jamboree. They beat us like a drum. And uh, their kids play really hard, and they box out, and they they really fundamentally sound. And uh, I want to I want our kids to to stop to stop accepting that as okay. They're just a little better than us. No, just step up your game. Just do it. Do the little things. Last night, you know, I got home and I watched the game film. It was late, but I mean, you just you just see so much stuff that's fixable. It's so fixable and you, you can fix it. You just gotta keep on it, keep grinding. I, I know my, our kids are probably about sick of me, but that's the way I felt this time of year. And that's the way they're gonna feel this time next year. If they're doing anything productive, they're gonna be worn out and they're gonna be worn thin. But yeah, I wanna win the Greenville game. We can win, you know, we can win games. We, we can compete with these guys. You um, bet. Capes. Probably got the best top to bottom roster I've ever seen in the CMO conference. I mean, that's saying a lot. Oh yeah. I I'm fairly certain they have four division one basketball players at a minimum and maybe more. And that's that's insane. That's wild. And, and I think a few of those will be back next year too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it, it doesn't end at the uh, the end of the season. Best team doesn't always win. The most talented team doesn't always win. Those guys uh Dexter played them real close early in the year. Um, we're going to go at them. We're yep. going to play them. We're going to play our style of ball. And just like last night, we got out in the first quarter, and uh, Ashton Williams, he had it going on, man. He, he was stroking that thing. 
And then late in the game, some other kids stepped up. But it's just got to – takes the right guys being on the floor at the right time, playing playing their game, and just finding a way to win. Last night, I mean, we were we were sloppy still. We, we did a lot of silly stuff, but we found a way to win. We kept scrapping. They kept fighting, diving for loose balls. I mean, you saw uh, Deshaun get just plowed. And, man, I, I thought he was done for the game. About two minutes later, three minutes later, he's – Still got tears in his eyes, and he's just, coach, I can go. I can go. And then he goes in the game, hits that huge three. I mean, hits huge two. They called it the two. Well, I'm, I'm still going to give him 21 points in my book. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> it but, looked like he had 21 points of yeah. about two or three inches. Uh, it knows, uh, officials, have a, play. officials have a really hard job. I'm not knocking any officials out there. We do appreciate you, but – Boy, he earned that one. He went, he took that guy in the chest, and then he went down there and made that shot. When I thought he was gonna, if I was him and he, at his age, I would have probably lost it right then. When he when I saw them change the score, I'd have probably lost it. But we held it together. Well, tonight uh, Saxton here at Kennett, we want a big crowd come out and support this team. They fight hard, and uh, yes, I know the team, the coaches uh, would appreciate you being out here. And we need getting you. loud. We got to have you, man. Um, we got Tumbling. We got the uh, gymnast going to take over. The halftime show is going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be um, a big crowd. Then. Our kids, I'll tell you this, every single night we went out this year, our kids play hard. Our kids have played hard every night. They haven't always played sharp. They haven't always been exactly where they're supposed to be. We haven't always made shots. We're playing really hard. And the guys that you're going to come support, you'll be proud of them. You bet. Coach Noel Billings on the Kennedy Indian Coaches Show. As uh, come out tonight, cheer on the Indians. As uh, the JV game starts at six o'clock against Sykeston That's and right. the varsity game around seven fifteen. But come out early, watch this JV squad as they play hard too. Yes, sir. Come out and see them tonight. That has been the Kennedy Indian Coaches Show, and we'll talk to you again this evening from Kennett with Kennett Indian Basketball.